Mr. Chair? Yeah, Senator. Very Rafi. clear to me na talagang mahilig gumamit ng delaying tactics itong DMCI. In fact, kanina bago ako bumaba, I was gonna make a statement na sasabihin ko itong si Mr. Kunsunhi, he's a respectable uh, businessman na pinunda niya yung kanyang negosyo dahil sa hard work, honesty, and all. Pero base sa nagikinig ko kanina, lahat na mga yon nabura. Yung magagandang impression ko about you, personally, biglang nabura. That's just my opinion. Um, you don't know when to surrender. Talagang ipupush nyo. And I doubt it na kapag sinasabi nyo nag emr kayo kahit na hindi na dapat, you will come up with many excuses para ma-stretch talaga to hanggang sa mga kamatay na siguro, pardon for the word, yung mga complainant. That's what you're trying to do. Yung, because you have all the resources na para pahabain to while these complainants doesn't. Now, balik tayo. November, last year, nag-file kayo ng MR. At sumagot ang Supreme Court doon sa MR na pinal nyo. Um, Attorney Agnes Maranan or Ms. Sinong gusto magsalita? Uh, would you like to comment doon sa sinasabi nitong si, uh, si Attorney uh, Lazaro? Uh, so, sorry, I call you Lazaro kasi malala ko. Nalala ko siya yung kayang magbuhay ng patay. Did you know, before, before uh, I'll let you talk, Attorney Agnes Maranan, alam niyo ba, Mr. Kunsunhi, na itong abogado niyo na may meke, and yet, andito pa rin siya, pinapayagan niyo siya, I was expecting that he will no longer be here after na malaman ninyo na gumagawa siya ng hindi tama na nakakasira po sa imahe ninyong company. Kaya nga pagdating ko rito, nagulat ako, andito pa rin siya. Kasi if I were you in, in your situation at meron akong isang staff na gumawa ng kalokohan, sisibakin ko na. Kaya nga sabi ko, gagawa sana ko na napakagandang statement na pupurihin ka. At yung nakikita ko ngayon, yung mga narinig ko, Binabawi ko na yung mga gandang impression ko towards you personally. I'm sorry, Mr. Konzuni. Go ahead, uh, Attorney. Before uh, that, uh, Senator Rafi. Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, I have received notice that the former consul of Mr. Lilio Ribuena has already uh, withdrawn uh, from the case. And uh, I think they have already a uh, new consul that uh, will assist Mr. Lilio Ribuena. In the name of uh, Attorney Mananan, who else? Only you, no, Attorney Maranan? Uh, yes, sir. My, my partners are here as well, Your All right. Honor. Okay. Yung settlement nila noong October, at the time they supposedly, that is what the uh, DMCI is saying, at the time they settled in, I believe, September and October of 2023, there were no rights to transfer anyway because the, the workers here had already transferred their rights to the first buyer. So if they had already transferred their rights as early as February 2023, then by the time they executed a compromise agreement, two compromise agreements with five of the workers, there was nothing for the workers to transfer. It had been transferred. Uh, Pag-uusapan natin itong decision ng Supreme Court, which is final executory dapat may cancel na yung title na hawak ng DMCI na yung DMCI nagmamatigas. So, nandito ba yung uh, LRA? Yung RD? Are you the original director? So therefore, with this decision by the, from the Supreme Court, i-cancel nyo na yung title. Can you do that? Or would you like us to uh, uh, call the Supreme Court and uh. oblige you to do it? Sir, with due respect, to your, honor, your Honor, we are waiting for the writ of execution for it to be cancelled, Your Honor, but we will comply with the order of the Supreme Court. We just need the writ of execution to cancel the existing title, sir. Attorney Maranan, sabi mo final? Because yes, sir, no by the way, there are second. two. There are two decisions. As I said, the first one, uh, which was final as early as 22, said exactly the same thing. Final. That, that Yes, sir, that one, undisputably, okay. that is final, that is executory. And, sir, 
if I may, the decision of the Supreme Court in both cases is already executory. I believe there's nothing more to wait for. The Supreme Court said, implement okay. the or arbiter's decision. The, do you have a copy of the decision, uh, Attorney Maranan, that it says uh, that it is already final and executory? The, meron po. Apologies, because, what? personally, I don't. I don't have it, but... I have this... Uh, that is the November, sir. Yes, November. Do you have the latest uh, order of the Supreme Court? On the first case, sir... Uh, my apologies, sir. I, I did not bring a copy. This but on is the not first the latest uh, decision by the Supreme Court? That is the latest, sir, on the second case. All right. But on the first case, it, it is final. final. And All I right. think even Hello. attorney... Uh, what about the second case? On the second case, sir, that is the latest solution. And it, are, it is our position, sir, that a second MR, if it was filed, is a dilatory tactic because it, there is a clear rule. Can you, can you uh, provide us a copy of the first uh, deci uh, the decision of the, on the first case, uh, Attorney Moranan? Yes, sir. And, and please read the uh, dispositive portion. First case. Yung sa third division, ito yung, ito yung decision. You have it, Attorney Maranan? Yes, your, yes, your Honor. I am holding the decision of the court dated... Uh, this is in GR number 221978. Uh, it was a case which was resolved by the third division, and this order, sir, is dated April 4, 2022. And the dispositive portion of this order, which is the first case, says, wherefore, in view of the foregoing, the instant petition filed by DMCI is denied. The decision dated June 5, 2015, and the resolution dated December 15, 2015, of the Court of Appeals uh, affirming the April 3, 2013 resolution and the September 26, 2013 order of the LRA in consulta number 5208 are affirmed. For reference, sir, the decision and uh, the last sentence of this uh, decision says, the NLRC's, commission, the NLRC's order dated January 4, 2011, and the entry of judgment in that case dated July 19, 2011, are registrable. Meaning, sir, if they are registrable, they can now be implemented. And as I mentioned earlier, said, sir, that January 4, 2011 uh, decision of the labor arbiter was very clear. It said... The title which DS, DMCI secured should be cancelled. Right. Okay, I, I also have a copy now of uh, the decision of uh, the Supreme Court. Uh, Senator Rafi, you still want to continue? Um, babalik lang ako yeah. doon sa aking uh, katanungan kay Attorney uh, Agnes Maranan kasi nasabi nga niya na uh, meron ang final and executory decision in Supreme Court dun sa isang kaso. Yes, sir. And then you cannot file a uh, second MR to another MR. To yes, sir. MR. At nagpupumilit pa rin talaga itong DMCI. Um, meron na akong briefly na um, kikwento, uh, Mr. Chair. Sa programa ko po sa Wanted sa radio for the past 20 years, ang dami ko na pong natatanggap na reklamo sa mga malilit nating manggagawa na sila ay inapi ng kanilang mga amo. So they went to NLRC. After so many years of waiting, na panarunan nila yung kaso, and then pupuntahan yung company, it's either nagsara na, o dili kaya nalipat ng pangalan sa ibang uh, may-ari, or inalalaban sa korte, which ito yung nangyari ngayon. Patagalan na lang, pati bayan. Hindi ko na mabilang yung mga lumapit sa akin 
na nang kamatay na, pati pa yung kanilang mga anak, patay na. Inabutan ng 15, 20, 30 years pa. Hindi pa na-resolve yung kaso. Dahil nga, yung kumpanya, maraming resources, maraming pera, pwedeng magtiis, patagalan. Paano yung mga magagawa natin? Yung iba, pupunta lang abroad. Kaysa mag-antay, mag-OFW na lang, ligtas na yung company mandarambong. Yung iba, uwi na lang probinsya, kaysa lang pabalik-balik, magka sa pamasahe, nagsasawa. And this is what's happening right now sa DMCI. Meron na desisyon yung Korte Suprema at lalabanan pa rin yung desisyon na yun. Kaya nga, sabi ko kanina, Mr. Chair, meron na palang uh, desisyon yung Supreme Court Sinang ayunan, yung sinabi ng NLRC from the beginning na i-cancel yung title at and the Supreme Court did agree. Tama, Attorney Maranan? Yes, yes, Based sir. on that their decision here? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. So therefore, kayo po, dyan sa LRA, Register of Deeds, kayo, dapat gumawa kayo ng aksyon. Maliban na lang kung kayo po yung nabayaran. Go ahead po, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, with due respect, sir, the LRA is readily uh, uh, will, co will comply with the decision of the Supreme Court. So there's a decision already? Yes, sir. Okay. There, it was raised in Consulta 5208, the issue of registrability of the court order. The decision of LRA was to annotate the registrability of the decision. But as to the cancellation of the title itself, we require the uh, writ of execution to comply with that order, sir. That's the only thing left, sir, for us to readily comply. Okay. What's your opinion on that, Attorney Maranan? Well, sir, the, what is registrable is the order of the labor arbiter, which says that the title should be cancelled. And if I may, sir, with respect to the first case which I had just read, we are also holding, and we can submit this to this Honorable Commission uh, uh, Committee, the entry of judgment in that case. And the entry of judgment says, it, this was issued on January 16, 2023, and this says that the April 4 decision, which I had read, has already become final and executory. Might be worth noting also, sir, that when they executed the, when they executed the compromise agreements with the five workers, this decision which said, the title should be cancelled, had already become final and executory. Oh, okay. So, naring nyo, Attorney Garcia? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, our legal uh, attorney, uh, Elizalde, will explain, sir, the further they cannot, Legal to legal. Sir. Okay. Attorney, see, attorney Agnes Maran, she, she uh, just gave the, the, a legal opinion on this matter that we're talking about. And so, kayo nagbibigyan ng different opinion. So, magkasulungat ang inyong opinion. So, uh, in other words, kinukonta niyo po yung desisyon ng Supreme Court. Para sa inyo, hindi sapat pa yun. Kailangan meron talagang naka-state doon na it should be executory. No, sir. You, uh, sir. Can I give the floor, sir, to Attorney Elizalde who can discuss Attorney the legalities Elizalde, of it? Go ahead, good, good morning, Honorable Senator Tulfo and Senator Estrada. Um, under the processes of the Land Registration Authority, we, when we decide that um, a decision is registrable, it only means that the, reg the decision is registered on the title as notice to the whole world that certain rights have been annotated. In the case of the NLRC decision and decisions of the court, we, however, require under our processes that a writ of execution be presented to the RD. We will, of course, comply. We just require that one thing because that is what is in our processes, Your Honor. So they're waiting for a writ of execution? <coughs> well, sir, we find it a little odd that what the LRA is in effect saying that we will allow a registration on a title and, the regist and the, what is going to be registered is a decision which says that very title is to be cancelled. So, sir, uh, we, it is our position that this is already... It, this is already something that can be executed, sir. That's our position. 
Ano pong hinihintay ninyo? Uh, something that will literally say na eh, from the Supreme Court na kailangan uh, magkaroon na ng writ of execution? Yes, uh, Senator. That is all we require, the writ of execution, and we will comply absolutely. Because that is the way the processes of the LRA have been made. Okay. So the opinion of um, Attorney Maranan, while we take note of that, that does not hold water with our office. Okay. Where would that writ of execution will come from para kayo po ay sumunod na? I-present lang po ng sheriff or yung prevailing party sa amin, tapos i-authenticate, and then... Teka lang, mapipresent ang sheriff ng usually NRC? In, uh, yes, sir. Usually, we have we require that a sheriff or a party presents to us... Kaya nga, sino nga yun? Sheriff ng Korte Suprema, sheriff ng NRC, mapipresent ng right of execution? Your Honor, the NLRC. Okay. Yan lang kailangan po. NLRC. Uh, NLRC. So, they're just waiting for a writ of execution coming from you para sumunod na sila doon sa sinasabi ng Supreme Court na mailipat na may cancel na yung title. Uh, Hinihintay lang pala kayo. Then, do your job. Hint, cancel uh, the title. Uh, we will, I will check po on the record. Issue pero a writ po, of execution. Pero, pero po kung ang sinasabi po ng LRA ay yung writ of execution na nagmula sa NLRC, matagal na pong natapos kasi po ang kaso na to. 1997 pa po yata. <coughs> So kung pong yung, kasi po di ba ang proseso po sa amin is that magkakaroon po kami ng desisyon at uh, pagkatapos po ng desisyon na yon maaring umabot hanggang Korte Suprema o pero sa amin pa lang po, uh, kahit po umakyat ng Court of Appeals yung respondent, mag issue na po kami ng writ of execution. Ang writ of execution. Meron na kayo na issue na writ of execution. Meron na po ito kasi 1990s pa po na kaso okay. ito eh. So, ang nangyayari lamang po, ah, Mr. Senator, pasensya na po. Ang nangyayari lamang po is that wala pong nakuha na uh, <coughs> cash or uh, pera para masatisfy ang judgment sa kaso na ito. Kaya po ang ginawa po ng aming sheriff ay sinubasta yung ari-arian mm -hmm. o yung property nung respondent na siyang may titulo. Ang naging problema lamang po rito is that nun pong sinusubasta na, ang sinabi po bigla ng DMCI, hinarang po nila yung pagsubasta dahil ang sabi nila, nabili na raw po nila ang property na ito na dating pag-aari nung responded sa original na kaso. Okay, so in short, meron na pong na-issue na writ of execution meron from the ito. NLRC. So ngayon, ang gusto nila for the second time, mag-issue ulit ng writ of execution. Now, okay. Just for the sake of argument, halimbawa, nag-issue siya ng writ of execution uh, bilang pangalawang uh, aksyon doon sa unang writ na kanilang issue, would you oblige? Uh, Your Honor, for clarity, your sheriff, the sheriff of the NLRC, will go to the Supreme Court to get the, the writ of execution and serve it upon the Register of Deeds, whereupon the RD has nothing left to do but to cancel the title because that is part that is the last part of the process of the legal okay. process for the transfer okay so ang gusto niyo mangyari ang NLRC pupunta sa Supreme Court para humingi ng writ yes sir of execution yes, sir. <clears throat> uh, attorney maranan uh, yes sir thank you uh, for, sir first of all this is not we completely agree with the NLRC. This is not the first. This is not a uh, <coughs> the reason why um, the workers here were able to obtain title here was on the basis of a notice of levy of the NLRC. The the property was sold on in public auction, and sir, it was never redeemed. So in fact, the certificate of sale in favor of the workers, I think, as early as. The 1990s, I, I'm not absolutely sure of the date, sir, was already registered on that title. So it is, we are stunned that a title which was already, which already had a certificate of sale that became final because it was never redeemed, was somehow still transferred to DMCI, and that is the subject of the labor case, of the labor um,
proceedings which occurred in 2011. Sinabi nga ng, sinabi ng uh, labor arbiter din, paano naman nailipat sa D DMCI to, eh, merong, merong annotations already. So how is it possible that it was transferred in the first place to DMCI when the certificate of sale in favor of the workers was already annotated? And from that point, sir, one court after the other, the NLRC, the, the, and then eventually the two divisions of the Supreme Court affirmed it because it stems from a, a what they call a certificate of redemption. A, a, uh, excuse me, issue. excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Chair, pwede ba natin ilagay under oath itong mga taga, ano, LRA, tinan natin tiba nyo. Magsinungaling kayo. Put them under oath, please. Itong dalawa. Hindi, hindi lang, hindi pa ito nag-oath eh. Nag-oath na ba kayo during the last hearing, no? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so you're under oath. Subukan nyo magsinungaling ngayon. Subukan nyo. Maluwang-luwang yung kulungan doon sa baba eh. Lalo na ikaw, maluwang. Kasyang-kasya, ikaw doon. So, go ahead po, Attorney Maranan. Thank you, sir. So, sir, at, by my records, at least as of 2011, sir, Klarong-klaro na yung ruling ng NLRC on the basis of this rate of execution, actually notice of levy, na it belongs to the workers. Sinabi ng Supreme Court, sinabi ng NLRC, bakit nyo nilipat? Eh meron ng titulo na nandun yung annotation ng certificate of sale na hindi ni redeem and yet okay. na ilipat right pa rin. Okay, anong sagot niyo doon? Sinong matibay magsagot dyan? May annotation yes, na in favor yung... Uh, doon sa work, yung sa sale, and yet, gino nyo pa rin. Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to be clear with the, with the record, Your Honor. The title in question, Your Honor, is titled 12619 in the name of Tagig Land Development Corporation. It was not yet, sir, transferred to the MCI. As per allegations of Attorney Maranan, the record states, as you can get it from a certified true copy, that the title is still with Tagig Land Development Corporation coming from the property of Laxina. So it was transferred to Tagig. Now, the annotations at the back, I'm just running this based on records, ma'am, because I only assumed office last May 2023. So based on record, it was only that the only annotation at that, at that point was the notice of lease pendants uh, 